Hi, be recapped here. Today, I am going to explain American horror, mystery, and thriller film called The Night House. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. At the beginning of the film we see a woman named Beth. It turned out that he was in depression. Beth is shown drinking the all night, and then goes to sleep after watching her wedding videos. When she sleeps she misses her husband. She wants to be with him. Someone knocks on the main door and she sees a reflection in the mirror. Nobody was there in the next scene. Beth has what feels like a dream when she wakes up. It is shown that Beth is a professional teacher. She gets ready to go to her school. Because today was a parent-teacher meeting, a woman approaches him who was the mother of his student, and asks Beth why did she give her son a C grade. Beth tells her that he didn't submit the assignment. That's why he got a C grade. Woman says my son came with assignment but you were not here. Beth apologizes to the woman and gives her son a B grade. But the woman wants an A grade for her son. Beth tells him that my husband took his own life last Thursday. Hearing this, the woman becomes silent next. Beth is shown at her house. She was looking at her husband's diary. On this her husband has made a sketch of the house. It was near a lake. Beth notices that he has sketched several rivers, like it was a mirror image. Beth understands nothing and falls asleep holding the diary back. The next morning, her music system plays automatically. She checks the phone and receives a message from Owen. Meanwhile a voice was heard. When she looks near the window she finds her husband. He was standing near the lake house and then Beth woke up. It turns out that maybe Beth was dreaming. She gets scared of that dream. Then she checks her husband's phone after charging. But he did not get any message. She checks the phone gallery and finds a picture of a girl. This is taken from side pose. The girl was looked like her. She goes to her friend and shows her the picture. Her friend says maybe it's you. But Beth says I don't have such clothes. Her friend Claire tells her to leave it all. And remember the good times she had with her husband. Maybe he was cheating on you. Later, Beth and her friend go to a bar and drink a lot. Beth's friend comes to drop her off at home. Beth tells him a story. He had an accident at the age of 17. His car fell into the ditch. His lungs burst and his heart stopped beating for about 4 minutes. But the doctors somehow saved her Anne. Beth fell asleep while narrating this story. Suddenly his music system starts playing loudly. Beth wakes up in horror and then learns that she is alone at home. She screams and says whoever is it comes in front. She saw some girls come and jump in the lake. Beth checked with light that there was nothing. Then she sees another house. He was on the other side of the lake. She immediately disappears from there. Then someone whispering in her ear. She boldly heads towards the boat. There were blood-soaked footprints and she learns that. Her husband's spirit is all around her. She faints as soon as she tries to touch him. When she got up she found herself on the other side of the lake. There was a house like him and in different rooms he sees girls like him. They are with her husband Owen. Beth awakes when she goes inside the house. She was inside her house means in the real world. She believed that the happenings with her is not a dream. But this is a supernatural power. She charged her husband's phone and found pictures of several girls. The girls look like her. Then she goes to the other side of the lake and investigates. Her neighbor meets her near the forest and forbids him to go into the forest alone. She ignores her neighbor and goes there. Beth sees a house in the forest. It was like her house. It was in worse condition. When he enters the house, he finds a doll. There were many pins inside it. Seeing this it was confirmed that it could be some kind of black magic. She again goes to her neighbor's house and asks him why is he refusing her. You may know something about my husband. You have some knowledge of his satanic works. Her neighbor tells her that she has seen her husband with a girl in that house. He didn't tell her anything about it, because his life could have been ruined because of that. Beth returns home and sees her husband's things. He got two books, one of them was the book of black magic. After reading the book, Beth did not understand anything, and throws the doll in anger. The doll that she got from the forest's house. The doll remains upright even after falling. Suddenly, Beth hears voices from the upper floor. When she investigates she finds the spirit of a man there. He turns his head towards her when she sees him. She gets scared seeing him. The next day, Beth goes to the bookstore, where those books were bought. She sees the same girl in the bookstore, whose picture she saw on her husband's phone. She asks the woman about her husband but she is shocked to hear this. The woman tells him that maybe she knows her husband, but they have no relation. Later, Beth goes to her friend. She tells him everything. This has been happening to him since last few days. Her friend tells her to stop thinking about your husband Owen after hearing this. Now he has died Beth returns home at night and the lady comes to meet her. 
the woman she saw in the bookstore. She tells him that she does not know her husband well, they were just good friends. The woman told that her husband loved her very much, saying this the woman leaves. Beth drinks alcohol and moves to the other side of the lake at home. Here, she tries to summon the spirit of her husband, but she didn't come and then her foot slipped. When he looked down from the light, there were many dead bodies. Beth gets scared seeing them. Beth runs from there being scared, and thinking this while sitting in her house. That Owen can't do it and remembers her husband crying. She feels a presence, and Beth notices, here, written in the washroom's mirror. Beth goes there and feels might be this is her husband's soul. The soul was also feeling Beth. There was a whispering and Beth leaves the soul immediately. The washroom door automatically closes as soon as Beth leaves. She looks at a girl in the mirror as she and her husband are beating her. Meanwhile, a spirit grips Beth's neck. It hits her with the door and the door opens. Later, Beth goes to her bedroom and notices the souls of several girls there. They were trying to hide. Beth sees her husband again while beating the girl. Beth notices that there is another spirit with her. It takes her to another room. It takes Beth to the place where her husband has committed the murders. At last, she saw that she had placed her head on her husband's lap. There is again someone whispering in her husband's ear. He tries to press her neck, but he could not do it. Beth asks the shadow who are you. The shadow says, I am nothing. You made me feel the last time you had an accident, but you escaped at that time somehow and the actual thing reveals here. This shadow was none other than death. And when Beth escaped from the accident the death was chasing Beth. It wants to take her from there. But her husband saves her again and again. Her husband has made a mirror house to make death forget its path. He brought the girls like Beth there. He ends those girls after the death's whispering. Basically, the death wants to end death from Owen. Beth's husband was tricking death. In the end, death is shown making Beth's soul its slave. Because death couldn't end Beth here. She has to take her own life. Then it can end her soul. Beth's soul was still torn between the dimension of death and life. Death in form of her husband tries to persuade her. So Beth will feel her life is worthless. Like this, she will shoot herself. So she will take her own life, but then her friend comes. She tries to wake Beth while screaming. Beth hears her friend's voice in the other world. She comes to her senses. She sees that she is sitting in the boat with a gun in the morning. Her friend comes to the boat while swimming, and takes her to the shore. It is discovered here why Beth's husband died. He has understood that death will put an end to his wife. That's why he committed suicide. He didn't want to end his wife that's why he took his own lied. He loved Beth very much so his neighbor also comes there. He asks Beth what has happened to her. Beth says I don't know what has happened to me. Meanwhile, they feel a soul's presence near the boat. Here comes the sad end of the film. Thank you for watching. And subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notification, leave a like to help the channel out.